Hey guys, this is Jasper Ombre again, bringing you another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. Um, I'd like to show you my promise. Level 15. He is definitely not level 5 anymore, but his moves have not changed an inch. So. Hopefully in this episode we will capture our sixth and final teammate. Uh, I've decided not to narrate on that Windows Movie Maker anymore because, well, it sucks. Yeah, um, I'm going to have to really redo it a few times, but I decided with thought to go down to this route to capture our sixth teammate, Route 32. So. Our new teammates go to B. I see that. Actually, Shift Tree is actually really good. Um, and now I believe I did add a code. Uh, so I'm going to try the luxury bar. We'll see if the code is on. Now, what should I name her? I believe this is the first grass type in the team. If I'm not mistaken. I got plenty of water types. C dot's data was added to Pokedex. It attached itself to a tree branch using the top of its head. Strong winds can sometimes make it fall. What should I name this pretty girl? Um, I think I know Laura after my other friend. She's a tough cookie, actually. And good, now let's take a look at her. She is quirky nature, proud of its power, bind and hard and for moves, um, floor fill, boost speed and sunshine. Well, that's not bad. Uh, for now, I may just stop this video until I get Laura up a few levels, so see you then. Hey guys, I thought I would bring this on camera. Laura's evolution into Nuzleaf. Now, I did promise and I raised quite a few levels to level 14, 15 at least. Congratulations, your lore evolved into Nuzleaf. Now, nope. Well, I will see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I've had some thought and I'm thinking that I just might teach Laura Dark Pulse if she can learn it. She doesn't have as good defense as she, or special attack as she does attack, but it's something to start her off with. If I can find it here, jeez. It's not to leave. Okay, it's back here again. Must have missed there. Boot it. Contains Dark Pulse. Yes. Okay, once learned Dark Pulse over Shorty Nose. I mean, he is a Dark Pokemon. Mmm. Bind just might be useful. Get rid of Harden. Okay, now that we've gotten that taken care of, um, first thing we must do is go to Sprout Tower. 
Oh, I just realized, yeah, it's a grass type, so she needs a grass move as well. And while I'm there, anyway, teach it a decent grass type attack. Um, okay, good. No, actually, Silver Beam, yes, does seem, seems pretty hectic, but... Get rid of bind for that. And also, I've had some thought. I'm also gonna teach it Sunny Day because of this ability. And it'll be good for Solar Beam. So prepare and lure already for it's tough fights ahead. May seem like a stupid move to do this. Oh no, you know what? Heck, I'm getting rid of nature power. Growth just might come in handy for a bad situation. Good. Now that I got that all settled, let's go into Sprout Tower. Alright, so our encounter for this Sprout Tower is Leafeon, wow. But I still like Laura better. So I will capture it for the sake of my encounter. But and it'll be a replacement for Laura if anything happens. But besides that, it has double typing, so. Okay, Leafeon's data was added to the Pokedex. When you see Leafeon asleep with a patch of sunshine, you'll know it's using its photosynthesis to produce clean air. Mmm. Um, I don't know why. Mm. Actually, Herbal sounds like a nice name. So Herbal the Leafeon, um, try to decide who, actually, Needle King just might be good for these battles. I'll try to get him one Sprout Tower battle. Uh, okay. Good. So, it is... But, Sage Nico. Um, I've decided from now on all these episodes are going to be live commentary. Because it's much easier that way. Elvis Gage. Wow. Good job, level 18. We're definitely going to have an easy enough time with this guy. Alright. So any these battles are pretty straightforward. Nothing but bell sprout. So... Just a note. Anyone can pretty much beat this guy. Heck, I'm switching out the Zazu just to give him some exercise. But well, he's the highest level so far, though. Since this, he also learned Water Pulse through the training of Laura. So. so far I've actually grown attached to these Pokemon, even the barrel. Good. Um I'm wondering if I should give my 
for barrel some exercise here. Hmm. He's level 16 and nose tackle. Might as well use him for some exercise. There. by say chow oh well I have to end this for now Sorry about that again, I had some trouble with the memory card, so... Barrel gets tons of exercise this way. He could pretty much sweep the tower. She can. This is a great place to train before Faulkner, and it's required to do before him, so. Really, I have no clue why, but they add this as an extra thing there. Maybe to test the bond and friendship or something? Leaves in the winds. <sighs> you are challenged by Sage Edmund. Tackle is just a simple. Since he's so over leveled, gives him some extra gives her some exercise. So. Hopefully in this episode we'll face Faulkner and get our first badge. Um, so I want your guys' opinion on how my team is looking so far. Is there any Pokemon in it that you think should be removed? Or do you think it's all pretty good for the beginning of the game? Well, it's all your opinion. So I think my team is pretty good. A few water put one here and there that I shouldn't have, but besides that, it's actually pretty balanced. And the wild Pokemon. In Bellspell Tower, it's not very common to get wild Pokemon, so. Yeah, full beat. That would have been an interesting choice. Okay, up here is when they get stronger. They only have one Pokemon apiece, but they have improved in their level. So I would suggest, a oh, wrong thing. I would suggest to have a Pokemon with flying move from this point on. So. I train to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Oh. That's pretty nice to know. Sage Gen C1, but level 6. So from this point on, I would suggest you use Fly Moves, because their levels have grown. I had to give Carrie some exercise there. Now, this guy up here, the one odd the right side next to the bell sprout has a stronger team. He has bell sprout and a hoot hoot. So watch out there. 
Sage Neal. There. Pretty good. Alvis game, yeah. It's dead right, okay. I might actually use carry for this battle. Um, hold on a sec. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, anyway, I had some problems that said I had to switch memory cards and that stuff. Um, but anyway, now, for this battle, I'm using carry. Let me do a much dress your Pokemon. Um, because he has a hoot hoot as well, rollout will be very useful. Mm. I know this sounds. Mm. Try to decide what to do. Uh, tackle should be good enough for Bell Sprout. Good. And now hoot hoot. Oh well, yeah, I could have used, uh, Cry, but hey, I'm trying to broadcast Carrie a little more, because I did, wasn't really nice to her about saying how ungood she is. Um... Mm, what to do? I think I'll use Sazu to the beginning. Here you'll count, you'll see your rival. You showed us what you had and it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Dot, dot, dot. Hm. He calls himself the Elder, but he was weak. Not much a match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. Jerk Ash used the escape rope. Isn't he just a kind, heartwarming person? Not. So, good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Now, Leaf Elder Lee is what his name is, yes. And he is the final test of Sprout Tower. Apparently, if you beat him, then you could beat Falconer. Or something like that. And Sasu gain 126. He's supposed to use Bell Sprout. Saves his hoot hoot for last. Also, his hoot hoot has hypnosis. So, watch out for that. I wouldn't switch. I would switch after with the message. I wouldn't switch after the warning. And he's about to use hoot hoot. Yes. I think I actually am going to use Pry this time. I never showed enough of Pry. Thundershock. And with luck, that should knock him out one hit. Okay, defeat it elderly. Ah, uh, excellent. Hmm. The way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Falconer, and you should be able to make good use of this. 
It's a tech machine called Flash. Take it with you. That's good for any cave that is dark. Um, so if you get to a dark cave, it'll lighten your path. Yeah, he said Bellsprout, for example. Um, well, for me, I'm just going to use Escape Rope. Cry is going to be my star Pokemon here. Give him some showtime. I'm going to at least get a few battles into here. You can easily avoid these battles by going on the invisible line, but I would rather show these battles. 